Dave Trumbo Show. I'm Joe Wamba. Join now with Dave Trumbo, head coach of the beach volleyball team. Not uh, many Maryland schools have beach volleyball. None, actually. <laughs> We're the only ones. Uh, but you guys traveled out to Texas, got to play four matches. Just how the weekend went for you. Well, it, it was great to be able to open up somebody else's facility. Last year, we really did it upright when we opened up our facility. Uh, and this year, Texas A&M Kingsville has a beautiful facility there and had six courts. Uh, we are joined by Principia from uh, uh, St. Louis and uh, Missouri Baptist. And uh, we played Texas A&M Kingsville, and it came down to the very last two of our – we were up two to one, actually, Joe. And it came down to our last two, our number ones and our number twos, and both of them happened to lose in three. But it was a great showing. And then that night we played uh, Missouri Baptist, um, and we were able to beat them. They're Division two. Uh, beat them four to one. The next day we played uh, Principia, uh, beat them five nothing, and then we had a rematch with Texas A&M Kingsville. Uh, this time they were ready. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so our one, Sammy Perlo and uh, Kristen Brooks, they did go three, and our exhibition match of Chelsea Ireland and Deanna Bradbury went three, but uh, we weren't able to get any uh, wins, so we lost that one five nothing. But uh, all in all, great weekend. Terrible weather, mm -hmm. but. You get what you get. You right. know, you're, it's an outdoor sport. And but, but like you said, both teams are going to be competing in those conditions. And there's a lot of competition this week, not only between, uh, you know, Stevenson playing uh, solid opponents, but also solid competition for who gets to travel. Yes. And so uh, I think our kids are starting to understand that. It, it was really tough pitting teammate mm -hmm. against teammate. We talked about that a little bit last time. Uh, so we kind of talked about it a little bit because uh, we had challenge matches and you know because the odd numbers challenged the even numbers on the first day back and then we had the evens challenge the odds. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Right. But um, then we said to the kids, I said, well, you know, we really could rotate people, mm -hmm. you know, but you would lose the power. You would lose the control. So if you lose the control – don't complain if the coaches are putting the people on the court. Right. It's kind of like indoor, mm -hmm. you know, where we have the stats, but we still have the final say. Yeah. For beach, it's different. And that's kind of hard to embrace. But then when they realized, I think, that they were going to lose that power of, you know, as an athlete, you want to be able to decide your own destiny. Mm -hmm. And uh, so as, as, as a group, they were pretty much in agreement, yeah, this is hard. We have to be teammates first. Mm -hmm. uh, and but we have to compete against each other. We're making each other better, and working on uh, the sportsmanship of it. And because it's really tough, there's a lot at stake. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> and of course, those challenge matches are coming. They're being won by two points. Right. So it's it's very difficult. Uh, and kids are putting a lot of uh, work and energy into it. But that's as a coach, you love your practices to be mm -hmm. that way. And that's when we have those matches. That's the way they are. And it seems like with that competition, even on the own. Uh, on your own team, they also support each other really well, and they have to be the each other's best cheerleaders, especially when you're playing so far from home so often. Yes, uh, you know, <laughs> that's absolutely the truth. And, you know, we, t we talked about that. Because we are teammates first. Mm -hmm. you know, well, actually, we're friends first. Yeah. And then – and teammates, and, and then, uh, we're, then, then competitors against each other. Uh, so we talked about, you know, the things that we were going to do to bond as a team – uh, when we go to Florida on uh, Saturday. Let's talk about that Florida trip. It seems to be a traditional one now, if you want to call it that, <laughs> on your years. second year. Yeah. Just preview the matches and the, the travel schedule that you guys are going to be well, facing. It's very ambitious. Uh, we are actually going to fly down to the Fort Lauderdale, Miami area and uh, on Saturday and then practice Saturday evening. And then Sunday morning we're going to play uh, St. Thomas University mm -hmm. and uh, Johnson & Wales, two D2 teams, and it's their first year. Mm -hmm. We're going. Then we're going to hop in vans and we're going to drive to St. Petersburg. And on Tuesday we're going to play Eckerd in a double, double duel, which means we're going to play in the morning, turn around and play them in the, e okay. in the, in the afternoon. Uh, Eckerd's a really good D2 school and we didn't have a lot of success with them last year. Uh, but, you know, so we're a lot better. Mm -hmm. So it'll be, it'll be very interesting to see how we fare. On uh, Thursday, two, Wednesday we're practicing. On Thursday we're going to travel toward, like, central Florida. We're going to play Warner University and Weber International University uh, in a tri-match. Um, then on Thursday, we that was Thursday, and then Friday we're going to fly to Alabama. 
<laughs> we're, we're going to pick up Huntington, which is the other D3 school. So it's Principia, okay. Huntington, and Stevenson. So we're going to pick up Huntington, and Principia will be there as well. We're playing Huntington on Friday, and then we're playing Huntington again on Saturday and Principia on Saturday. Then we're flying home on Sunday. <laughs> well, that's going to so be – So we're getting uh, five dates. The yeah. idea is you, you're allowed 16 dates you can play. Last year we had 11 dates and because the weather was good. We hit them all. This year, 13. You need to have eight to be an official NCAA okay. team. Well, and you guys are definitely going to be able to get those in for the most part this weekend, I, I imagine, and definitely no rest for the wicked with all those travel dates that you have. Well, and it, it is going to be challenging, but, but if we're spending the money to go all the way to Florida, mm -hmm. we're going to try to make the most of mm -hmm. our trip and play as many matches as we can. Uh, we come back and have uh, a week off before we go to UNC Wilmington uh, for a, a big tournament with all Division One schools. Well, Coach, we wish you the best of luck in all these matches and all the traveling that you're doing, and safe travels on your way. Well, thanks, Joe. He's Dave Trumbo. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Dave Trumbo Show. <laughs>